everybody, welcome back to the final episode of Book Club for Make Habits the Mediator series, and this one is the last one in the series, book number six, and it's called Twilight. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Uh, my local library did not have this book, so I went out and purchased it at the, uh, it's a bookstore, it's like for older books that are like scratch and dent kind of things. It's not a used bookstore, they're all brand new, but I got this one on an amazing sale for, I'm not sure if you can see that, uh, maybe it's, I got it for $8.79, and the inside price or the Canadian price was $23 so it was a great savings and I'm so glad to add it to my collection. I have the first book in the series called Shadowland and all the rest I got from the library but I was super excited to reread this series. Now I read it about three years ago and I remember pretty much exactly what happened in the last book but it was kind of interesting to refresh my memory and to reread the book. So the main characters in this one are uh, Suze, obviously, Suze Simon, Susanna Simon, uh, who the entire series is based off of, and then the ghost who lives in her room named Jesse. But at this point, Jesse started living with Father Dominic, who is the principal at Suze's school, and he's also a mediator. He can see ghosts, so Jesse goes to live with him at the, what, the rectory, I think that's what they call it. Uh, and the other big main character in this novel is a guy named Paul Slater, or Slatter, however you choose to pronounce it. He is in the fourth novel, and he is, or fifth novel, one of the two. I think it was, no, he was in both of them. He was in, he was introduced in the fourth one and came back in the fifth one. He was staying at the hotel that Suze worked at. He was a, a guest, and Paul's younger brother, Jack, uh, was the person who Suze ended up babysitting. And so it turns out he is a mediator, or shifter, because that's what he refers to himself as. Uh, he's one as well. And Suze and him, they don't really like each other. He has very, very, like, different opinions on the mediator world and what they are able to do and what they're able to experience. So he teaches Sue some of the different things that she can do as a mediator, such as visit the in-between world, kind of like a purgatory, but not really. It's, I don't know how to explain it really. It's like, if you were to imagine it, I imagine like gray clouds everywhere and there's like doors along the hallway and that's about all I imagine. Uh, and that's where all the ghosts go and they kind of hang out and they can either move on or go through the doors. Yeah, so he could do that. And he also just figured out that he can travel back in time. But you only need one thing from the person whose time you're going to, and you also need to be either in the location or thinking of the location. I'm pretty sure it's in the location that you can go to. So Paul has a huge crush on Suze and Jesse's in the wake. Jesse's, as I explained, the ghost who lives or who kind of likes Suze, and they're kind of dating. And so he's trying to get rid of Jessie so that Paul is her boyfriend. So that's where the conflict comes in. And he's been saying that he's going to get rid of Jessie, and he tried to um, exercise, I think that's exorcism, kind of. He was not, he was indirectly involved in that that happened in the previous novel, or a few novels ago, I can't remember. I think it was the fourth one. And so he's been trying to get rid of Jesse, and his latest scheme is that he is going to go back in time to kill Jesse's killer. That way Jesse gets to live, and Suze will never meet him as a ghost. So the entire novel, up until the very end point, is them bickering, Suze and Paul bickering back and forth uh, about what's happening. Uh, he gets a piece of Diego, or no, Felix Diego's belt, who is the guy who killed Jesse, De Silva, and he tries to go back in time but Jesse finds out that he's doing this too and him and Suze kind of have a fight so then Suze ends up going back in time to go save Jesse. Paul finds her there, ties her up and he, they're in a barn and Jesse finds her tied up in a barn and they she tells him that she's from the future and that somebody's going to kill you and he doesn't really believe her until Paul comes back and then Diego comes and he tries to kill Jesse and a lot of other like little things happen in between them but yeah, uh, Jesse believes them. And then there's a fire starts in the barn in like the hayloft. That's where they are. And he, the, the fire, I'm sorry, this is kind of confusing if you haven't read the novel, but the fire engulfs Suze in, uh, I don't know, like a circle. Imagine it like a ring of fire, but like horizontal instead of vertical, the ones the lines jump through. So she's in something like that. And Jesse grabs a blanket, jumps in to try to save her. And Paulo's like, whoa. Even if that were happening, and he was standing right there when it was happening, he's like, I wouldn't do that for a girl. He obviously loves you, even though he just met you. 
because it wasn't the ghost Jesse. It was the actual Jesse who had never met her before. So then uh, they travel back in time. But the biggest part about the novel that I probably should have mentioned before is Paul Slater's grandfather is also a shifter, as he tell he likes to call himself. And he said when he talked to Suze that one of the most important things to remember when you're time traveling is not to like touch anything, especially while you're time traveling. Otherwise, you might have some unnecessary presence brought back with you. And so when Suze time travels back when her and Jesse are falling off the hayloft, she accidentally brings Jesse with her back to the present day or the future. So that is interesting. So Jesse's body is lying there. Obviously, his soul is not there because two souls cannot live in one realm or one current time because the other Jesse is still there and he still knows Suze. And because Suze realizes that she ha still has recollection of him, obviously nothing happened. However, Diego did die. I'm just going to tell you that right now. He dies. Yeah. He falls off the loft and he goes, splat! He dies. And that was a great part of the book because then you get to read him die twice. That's pretty great. Um, so yeah, so Jesse's there and then they bring him to the hospital and it's, my favorite part about this is that her, Sue's father, which I also didn't mention, he is a ghost. He died years ago and he sometimes visits Sue's and so he visits her in this book and he realizes that she's in love with Jesse, blah, 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 blah. So when Jesse is lying in the hospital bed and Suze is sitting there. She's calling for her dad to come and it doesn't, it doesn't turn out that it's her dad that comes to save her or come to comfort her. It's actually Jesse and he sees his body there and he's like, whoa, so cool. My body's like here. So he jumps into the body and next thing you know, Father Dominic is there and Suze is there and they're all talking and Jesse wakes up, but his doesn't technically wake up. He does wake up, but it's his body from the past and his spirit from the future like the present day so now he's a real person and people can see him and it's actually him and it's so great and at the end of the book they go to this prom dance thing I don't know and he meets her family and it's so awesome and then the most heartwarming part about the book is right at the very end Susa's dad comes to tell her goodbye because he's moving on to his next life. And little does he realize that the purpose why he was staying behind and not moving on, it was to help Suze with her love life, I guess. To help her find true happiness in her life. So that was this book. I hope you guys enjoyed reading along with me, if you were reading along with me. Uh, the next book that I am reading, maybe I... I don't know. The next book I'm reading is the first novel in the Night World series and it's, it's really thick. It's like 700 pages and it's three books in one and I'm already a few hundred pages in. So it's, it's really good. So look forward to that. Thank you so much for watching these series. If you want to check out the rest of the books in the series, if this is the first one that you're watching, there will be a playlist linked down below and I will also annotate it right here. So make sure to click on that, go watch that and Happy reading. Okay, bye.